Dolores Ross wanted a small pool like a splash pad where her grandkids could play. She paid the owner of Hefe LLC $2,000 up front. Two and a half months later, Ross says the project's incomplete and the contractor is refusing to communicate. I feel like, you know, I just been had. Instead of stepping into a refreshing pool, Dolores Ross walks across gravel. And it's still not level. In April, she hired Sean Gassaway, owner of Hefe LLC, to put in a concrete slab that's four inches deep. Gassaway told Fox 4 he planned to finish the job two weeks later, but in a phone call with us, he claimed the rain was too hectic. After 10 weeks of work, he might have been here 10 times. There are only four boards and some rebar to show. Ross says he even wanted to pour concrete where there's clearly a hole between the wood and the ground. She worried that would have made the wet concrete spread outside the splash pad. I, to the point I just don't trust him. I don't want him around here. Here's the invoice. They agreed on $2,000 up front. Five weeks in, Ross says he asked for another $800, blaming gas prices and increased supply costs. I gave him $800. He has not been back since. But he has called and asked Ross for more money. In a phone call with Fox 4, Gassaway confirmed that he used some of her money to pay workers for a different job. We've given the owner nearly two weeks to talk with us. Tuesday, he blocked communication with Fox 4, similar to Ross. <laughs> you know, for, just for the irritation, and he had me so upset yesterday, my back just spasmed. And it's just ridiculous, you know. And then he says, I don't want to deal with you anymore. You have your attorney contact me. This 77 year old left staring at a mess that'll cost $2,300 to clean up. Ross says Gassaway damaged tree roots and her new $8,000 driveway with a machine known as a dingo. While scooping up gravel, she says he went under the pavement and lifted it. And then he piled gravel on top of it so nobody would see it. Gassaway denies it. He also told Fox 4 he wanted to work out a deal with Ross. She gave him till Monday to pay her back and crickets. He would not really respond. He didn't say, no, I won't do it, but it never happened. Because I asked him several times, are you going to refund the $800? Now she plans to take him to court. I just want my money back. Several reputable contractors we talked to said, this sounds like a scam. But Gasaway said he's no scammer, just a small business owner trying to make ends meet. Just hope he doesn't continue to do this to other people because it's, it's not right. Ross has since found a different contractor to put in the splash pad, and he's willing to do it less than for what Gasaway wanted to. Reagan Porter, Fox 4, working for you.